All right, what's going on guys? I'm back. It's Saturday, another car boot. Hopefully, we'll see if we can find some stuff, but yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> but these are super sick they are levi's sort of ripstock cargo shorts they are a pound this is super cool it's like a almost patagonia style rohan um sort of quarter button up really nice don't know what it's called but that is one pound fifty and then this is a trio of USA Quicksilver tees, really sick. So that's £1.50 with a great big graphic on the back. And um, that'll be about 20 probably. This one in brown, again, one fifty. Really sick, that one. And this one. Nice navy YMC t-shirt. Simple cotton, um, single stitch as well, which is really cool. This one is 3.95. Right, just found these for £12.50. Really nice pair of just plain docks made in England. But the bit that got me, I don't know if you can see under there, that they are underground uniform. So that's really sick. So just gonna get straight into it, beginning with these. They are a pair of what look like plain black 90s Doc Martens, but they are special edition ones. Ones that you can't just pick up anymore because they used to be London underground uniform, which is really cool. Um, I've had a quick look, there's not too many of these about, but the ones that are about go for about 40 to 50 pounds. There is a little bit of toe creasing on the box on these, so probably the latter, but still a really cool find, and they were 12 pound 50. Okay, onto the hats, beginning with this, is a Budweiser World Cup hat. Um, 75p, maybe get a tenner on that, nothing super special, just a little bit of embroidery. This one's really nice though, a very nice beige Buffalo Bills NFL cap. Again, 75p from the same person. Should get maybe 15 on that, which is quite nice. Now onto the ones that you didn't see, starting off with this really, really sick Mickey Mouse embroidered corduroy cap. Um, it is a 90s one from the States um, with a little cord under the brim there as well. This one was £1.50. In fact, each of these next couple hats are £1.50 as well. Um, should get maybe 15 to 18 on that. This one is just really American. It says Universal Studios, all embroidered with the American flag. £1.50 again, should get 10 on that. And the last one is just the Pittsburgh Pirates, New Era, should get 10 again. Okay, now moving on to t-shirts and something that was already sold actually today is this really nice, the Full Monty film tee. I think it's an old promo one from the 90s on just plain screeny. Really nice single stitch, big print, and I think it's dated, yeah, 1997, if you can read that on there. So yeah, really cool one. Already sold, so £25, that one was £3.50. Thank you very much, you know who you are. Okay, I know absolutely nothing about rugby, but I took a punt on this, it was just £2. Dated 2005 for New Zealand team, I think. Um, big old Zurich sponsor on there as well. Uh, size XL, should get maybe 20 to 25 on that. I know every pound counts, but I've got to keep this next one. It's too sick. Very nice, early 2000s Adidas T um, with sort of colorful three stripes across the chest there. Little Adidas logo just on that old early 2000s. In fact, I think this one's dated 1999. This next one came from the same person. It's just a nice early 2000s Caterpillar vest. Two pound again, should get maybe 15 to 20 on that, I reckon. Okay, and I've got a load of surf and skate bits. This one is a very nice early 2000s Quicksilver T with a big awesome graphic on the back there, lovely pale blue color. And um, this one is made in the USA, it says. Size XL, it was £1.50. So with all the hype around it at the moment, should get maybe 20 to 25 on that because of the color. This next one is just a simple Quicksilver T with a little logo on the back, um, small little spell out on the front. That one was a pound. This one again is literally the same, just in blue. £1.50, should get maybe 10 on that. And then the final tee is just a good mild blue one from YMC. Size small, but fits oversized. Probably more like a large, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that one was two pounds. Should get maybe 15. Then we've just got a few shirts. Starting off with this, it's a plain white Ralphie one with a nice little colorful pony on there. And um, this one is a chambray Oxford. 
so these ones go for a little bit more they're about 15 to 20 white ruffy shirts always hold their value pretty well anyway but this one was just a quid at the car boot and then a couple more quick silver bits as well found loads of it this weekend um very nice hawaiian style with sort of a waffly kind of print um really nice sort of all over palm trees this one was i think one pound at the car boot should get maybe 20 pound on that and this one same as well i think it's dated 2006 very nice little graphic just on there um one pound again should get maybe 15 on that just the one coat this weekend and it's another piece of women's wear again experimenting this one is laura ashley very nice sort of mock sheepskin with a full sort of sherpa interior but again these don't go for a lot this was five pound um they only go for about 15 to 20s and then we have this very sick rohan fleece um very patagonia styling on this it's just a snap fleece probably early 2000s one it's a korma pullover that's the name of it anyway um so yeah a pound on that which is amazing should hope to get maybe anywhere from 35 to 45 on that okay and then we've got some jeans to rattle through as well starting off with arguably the best pickup of the video pair of green edge and very early 90s stone island denims well they're not denims they're just plain blue stone island very nice good wash on these really good fade over time um i think unfortunately they are like a 30 31 waist so they're not going to fit me but someone will really enjoy those i'm sure on that lovely old tag i wasn't really sure when i picked these up because i've never found these in a while before but tag is very faded we can just about make that out it does say spa sportswear somewhere um but yeah really sick they were four pound i paid for those should get maybe i think 80 pound is about the going rate so yeah very happy with those indeed and then the last pair was just a pair of edwin's nothing too special in fact i think they're probably more chino-y but they were just a pound should get maybe 15 to 20 on those also found a pair of shorts very nice pair of ripstop levi's ones and um, they are cargos they are 40 waist i think so quite large um, with just a very small little tab logo on the back they are super sick sort of very much jungle aesthetic um but yeah they should be maybe 20 pounds because bigger sizes do do better on ebay that's it for today's video as always if there's anything that you want drop me a message down on instagram so double underscore vintage and follow me over there um, but a little like and subscribe goes a long way as well so thank you guys as always for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace